day it's alexis and i'm back with another video which i don't know by the title i'm gonna be doing anyways i'm going to be doing this and so i'm gonna show you how to do it and my tips and tricks for beginners i'm not that experienced myself i just do my own because it's way cheaper too and you could do your edges and everything how you like so this is a 13 by 6 wig it's brazilian it came from ic hair everything will be in the description box the direct link and the website so y'all go check it out it's a loose did i say this loose deep wave you already know 22 inches so this is the hair it didn't come like this it came a lot more curly but i brushed it down into like a water wave form keep watching you will see but y'all keep watching to see how i did this look and if you haven't watched my recent videos then baby what are you doing go do All right, y'all, let's get into the video. Today's hair is by IC Hair. I've used them before, it's really pretty hair. And I got a 22 inch, I think, Brazilian loose deep wave. And I'm gonna show you the hair and everything. All right, it came with two wig caps and then like a piece to hold it down and then a some lashes. All right, so now let's get into it. Yeah, get into it. Yeah, get into it. All right, let me stop. So I suggest y'all have your hair corn rolled down. I mean, mine's are in twist. Mine's are in twist, but same thing. I don't know what wig cap I'm going to use. I'm going to see theirs. It's a little darker for my skin tone, but we'll see. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're going to go and gel them babies down with the got to be gel. So they'll be all up out the way. All right, y'all. I decided to use my wig cap because their wig cap was a little too dark for my skin tone. I know this one looks light and everything it is i'm gonna put makeup don't worry but right now i'm going in with my guys to be freeze spray you can get this at your beauty supply store walmart basically maybe target too anywhere basically so i'm going in on the edges in my hairline so everything will be glued down then for my ear i usually like pinch out a small part then i like clip it and i pull it around on my ears go in with the blow dryer to speed the process up get it girl get it ooh ooh ha ha okay so everything's dried down now i'm finna just like cut the cap off All right, y'all, I'm just gonna wipe down my forehead and the line right there with alcohol, get any excess product. Ooh, all righty, y'all, so I got the wig out. Those are the curls, they are so pretty. And basically, I got it out to show you the lace. It is really pretty, and you don't really need to bleach it. I didn't bleach my knots. I, I mean, you always could bleach it for like a prettier lay, you know, so it's closer to your skin tone. But I am gonna go in with some powder and put some powder into the lace so it'll match it better. So the lace is actually looking very good. It blends with my skin greatly. And on top of that with the powder. So I'm brushing the hairs back because whenever I glue it down, I don't want anything in the way. I don't like hair strands of hair at all so this goes down all the way to my ears and i am gonna have to cut around it so my ears can be able to show so everything's good now i am gonna go in with my powder and do my hair look at that one two three and i'm done yo All 
All right, y'all, we finna get into the good stuff. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So we got the Gossipy glue, and I'm finna go in on the scalp and on the forehead. We're gonna be doing three layers today for that absolute hold for more than a week or two. So the Gossipy glue usually lasts like a week and a half, so almost two weeks, and you could just go in and reapply. It's all how you take care of the hair. So I'm just doing little dots all over so it can get spread out. Oop, I added look at me messing it up but it's okay y'all <laughs> just go ahead and um apply it so once you've got it all the way flattened out and smooth in and just ending up on the cap then you're just gonna let it dry look at me looking all bored the drying process Whew. meant to tell y'all y'all are gonna want to keep a napkin with water with you because your hands are gonna get sticky you want to just keep wiping it off so look at me boredom at its finest but this process i do not use no blow dryer i just like to let it sit until it's clear and once it's clear you're gonna put your second layer i just don't want to use blow dryer for this process because i just like how it just turns out but on my third layer i am gonna use the blow dryer towards the end to make sure there's no white blotches and it dries clearly but i have it on low don't worry so with the third layer you're gonna be careful you don't want it to be like sticky sticky and make sure it's dry before you pull it down so i'm gonna pull it down i didn't want to um pull it down when it was just like hard dry so i have it a little bit tacky and that is good like then i'm gonna go in with my free spray as y'all can see i told you i'm blind it's getting on the hair i meant to do the hairline and you're gonna use a comb too with the comb make sure you're combing through it so it, the free spray won't just sit on the hair and get hard you want to still be flowy you know so make sure you do the free spray and then blow dry it down we want it to all stay in place see i'm about to go in and cut the ears so my ears can like you know actually look like my ears not covered in lace you dig so I'm going to go ahead and do both sides. I only showed y'all one side because y'all can already see it. Y'all already get the picture. And then I'm going to go in with my elastic band they gave me. Thank you, Icy Hair. Because I've been needing one. You don't have to have an elastic band, y'all. But it does come in handy. So just use a scarf, anything. Just anything to tie down that hair. And leave it for like, I don't know, 15 minutes I left it for. I know in the back you there is lace. I seen this thing where you can actually glue down the lace in a bold hold or any type of way. I actually did try this off camera and I did like it. And you can also sew it down, but I didn't do any of that on camera. But I'm just telling y'all, y'all can do it. So I took off the um, what's it called? <laughs> Look at me stuck. I took off the um, you know, I don't even know what the word is right now. No, it's not good to cut straight when you're using your razor. Try to cut a little jagged so it can look more like a natural hairline. As you see, I'm kind of doing that. And then just keep watching. I'm just going to keep on going through. Alrighty, y'all. Y'all already know we've been going with some free spray. Make sure everything good. Just make sure the edge is looking nice. Blow dry that down real quick. Then we're going to go in with our alcohol. Just get any less residue. Don't want no glue because we're going to lay them babies down with a slick forehead. Don't think this process takes like 10 seconds. Your parting process is going to take a minute because you got to get that nice part and make sure everything good. I just sped it up. Alrighty, y'all. Uh, so I see I'm putting a little foam and brushing it out. So I didn't plug, but I did just put the razor back and forth. I've never done this, but I was like, hey, maybe a little bit, see if it works. But y'all, uh, you know, like I said, this part do take time. So just get your brush, your hot comb, and your mousse, and you'll be straight. A little makeup, and your part will be coming together like this.
with the edges y'all did see it's kind of pre-plugged so there is that line right there where you can see where it's easy but y'all with these edges i am going to be just using foam and then i will be setting it down but y'all know i could do these edges all day so As y'all see again, I'm not satisfied, so I just keep messing around with it. Y'all know it could take me all day, so I just went out off camera and did it how I likely like it. But yeah, y'all got my three little swoops. I don't do my edges the same all the time. Ooh, look at them juicy curls. I know y'all like why you brush it out. See, I y'all probably like why y'all brush them out. My mama thought I'm. She was like, why you mess it up? I was like, it's not messed up. It's just how I wanted it. I probably could have kept them in, but you know. But yeah. All right, y'all. I didn't really know what to do with this hair, but y'all can see I was spraying it. I forgot to press record, but I just put my edges down with the band. Now I've just been spraying it. As y'all know, these came with lashes. And I'm gonna put them on for y'all while this dries so y'all see how it looks when it's drying. This is the dried look. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, it was time to take that off. Oof, look at them baby hairs, okay? Okay. No. Anyways, y'all, this is the final look. Edges and all. This hair is by I See Hair. I hope everything in the description. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is my way of doing it. There's many ways you can go and look at other videos. You can take here and there tips, but this is my way. So, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Have a good one.